So now, I want to look at numbers 3 and 4 together. And let's just call it a, um, a cost relationship here. So we're going to be looking at several categories of costs. Total costs, fixed costs, variable costs, average fixed costs, average variable costs, average total costs, and marginal costs. So here's what I want to do for each of these. Um, I want to talk about their definition, um, how they look, and then how each of these categories are related to each other. Um, Let's start out with total costs. Total costs, as the term implies, are your uh, total costs. Um, these would be the total cost of production. Now that becomes a little bit easier to understand if we think about it than in terms of fixed costs. Fixed costs, these would be costs that do not change based on quantity of production. Variable costs, these would be costs that do change based on quantity. Your average fixed cost, these would be my fixed cost divided by quantity. When I say FC, that's what I mean by fixed cost. When I say VC, that's what I mean by variable cost. When I say TC, that's what I mean by total costs. So my average fixed cost would be my total fixed cost divided by the quantity. My average variable costs, this would be AFC, this is going to be AVC. This would be my total variable costs my variable cost divided by my quantity. ATC, average total cost, that would be my total cost divided by quantity. And then my marginal cost. The definition of that would be how much costs change when I produce more. Okay, so um, if we're trying to understand that, then what we see here is, right, that um, definitionally, that marginal cost would either be my change in my total costs as my quantity changes, the triangle here standing for delta, or it would be my change in my variable costs as my quantity changes. Because those are the only two kinds of costs that change as my quantity changes. There is no change in the fixed cost as quantities change. Okay, so then what you see is that you kind of get a sense from these seven equations what the general relationship is. Using these same acronyms, these same abbreviations then, is that total costs equal fixed costs plus variable costs. Alternatively, we could then say that fixed costs equal total costs minus variable costs. Or that it equals average fixed costs times the quantity. Or that it equals 
your average total costs minus your average variable costs times your quantity. But then my variable costs, well, they could equal my total costs minus my fixed costs. Or it could be my average variable cost times my quantity. Or it could be my average total cost minus my average fixed costs times my quantity. Or it could be the previous quantities variable cost plus the current quantities marginal cost. Now, once you know one fixed cost, you know them all. The variable cost at quantity zero is zero. Fixed costs are constant across all quantities. Marginal costs are either you're changing your total cost over your change in quantity, or it is you're changing your variable cost over your change in quantity. And the averages AFC, AVC, and ATC, that's just doing the math of dividing it by the quantity as it gets larger. Now the question would be also, how do these things look? In terms of fixed costs, your fixed costs are constant. In terms of variable costs, It starts at zero. Sorry. Yeah. It starts at zero and then increases um, increases at a decreasing rate and then increases at an increasing rate. And then my total cost, which is the summation of the two would then start at the fixed cost and keep that same shape. Because essentially total cost would be my fixed cost plus my variable costs. Which then leads me to have my marginal cost, which is J-shaped, my average variable cost, my average total cost, and my average fixed costs. These are the general way that these graphs are shaped. The average fixed cost keeps getting smaller and smaller because it keeps getting divided by a larger and larger number. It's a constant numerator divided by a larger and larger number. The difference between these two graphs has to get smaller because the difference between them is the AFC, the average fixed costs. And then my marginal cost curve is J-shaped curve.